Olivia, London has a wealth of places to eat and drink. Sometimes though, it can be really difficult to navigate yourself around the choices that are available. Yeah, but Derek, you must know London like the back of your hand, so hit me with some recommendations. Where can I get a good evening meal in Clerkenwell and Smithfield? I have two gentlemen who have the perfect answer to your question. Right, well, um, good morning. I'm Fergus Henson, chef and one of the directors of St John. I'm Trevor Gulliver, the other half of here, um, and welcome. You're sitting in the bar, and behind is our first bakery. Behind you, you can hear noises coming from the kitchen and the restaurant. So I found it, and then showed it to me one look. I was smitten. This is all chimneys, old smoke bacon and smoke houses. This last smoked in 1967. And I have to tell you that our logo, that famous pig, didn't have any reference to the original because these chimneys are, there's six of them. Some are separated, but they smoked all day, all day long, and they smoked pig. The guy came in one day and was looking curiously. There is some kind of strange way that he said it's very good that after all these, this time, that it's now is a restaurant, that it seems to have found its natural, the, where it, where it should end up quite happily. The roast bone marrow, I guess I hate that phrase, would be our signature dish. Much written about, which is nice. It's quite a lovely dynamic situation because nature writes their menu. The world is so homogenized and menus don't change and therefore it can be quantified, distributed, whatever it is. Uh, maybe de-skilled. So to work in a kitchen in that environment is fantastic for the chefs, for people learning, uh, exciting for front of house and hopefully for our customers. We don't believe in, uh, is it called table turning, which sometimes sounds like churning. Uh, we are delighted when people come. And when they come back again is, is excellent, double, double good. Mm -hmm.